I'm on point. That's not the 300, it's the Rolls Royce. Stainless steel watch by choice with the gold voice. One look at me and she moist. We in Fuego. Hard rock sweep down. Okay, so what I'm gonna do right now, um, this is, okay, well obviously this is my natural hair. I just have it twisted back. This is the way I wear my hair underneath my wigs to seal in the moisture and keep my ends, um, I guess sealed or protected or whatever. And they do look rough, but I can't break my own hair, so twisting is what I can do. And um, I don't twist that tight, and my twists aren't shown, so I don't really care if they look crazy. I just dyed my hair Thursday. Um, so yeah, these are basically fresh twists because it's only Saturday. No, it's only Sunday. And, um, yeah, that's why these twists look a little rough, but that's not the point. So, what I'm going to do is go ahead and take my mix of water, castor oil, and sweet almond oil and saturate my leave out. I give my hair that definition is the Garnier Fruities Curl Scrunch. Have been using this for years. Like when I first cut my hair in like Big Chop in 2011, this was one of my main products to just try to give my hair, my TWA, a little bit of definition. And also the Big Sexy um, Big Boost by sexy hair and this is just like a paste at first i didn't really know how to use this so i just tried it for the first time and i mean whatever it's a product and i'm trying to get rid of products so yeah taking the curl scrunch just gonna go through my hair like this Then go ahead and take the big boost paste. Looks like this. Go ahead and take about a quarter size amount, I guess. But this is just a good way to not keep adding heat to your hair, especially when you're wearing half wigs. I know you want your hair to be like laid and match the um, half wig, but at a certain point, you gotta realize heat damage is real. And I already, well, the heat damage that I did have from my other, half wig that was like a straight half wig I either got some of that hair to be restored and back healthy or I just cut it so yeah plus I think half wigs curly half wigs look better when your natural hair looks curly instead of just straight and then trying to like finger combing it into the uh, wig so for a flat twist all you want to do grab the piece of hair take like that take that portion of hair bring it around see that take another chunk of hair bring it around take another chunk of hair bring it around 
and just keep doing that. Or you can do um, individual twists. I just don't feel like it. Together. And then I don't even twist it all the way down. I probably just like finger coil it. And call it to the tie. And then the rest of the product, I just like put it in my hair. And my hair feels just a little bit dry. Cause I've been laying without um, a scarf on, on a pillowcase. So I'm just gonna take some of my Tropic Isle castor oil. And just put that throughout my hair. Get my ends. I know I do stuff backwards, but whatever. Take some more of that castor oil, just spread it through my hair. Get some more. Get them ends. And yeah, my, like I said, my twist is not um, the tightest. But it will. Okay, guys. So I just really wanted y'all to see up close the texture. Oh my god, my face is just a bit. Okay. So I did the whole process of like soaking my hair and twisting it last night. It's the next night. So I did get my hair a little bit wet in the shower. So you can see the curls and all of that. Go ahead and undo your braid or your twist, I mean. Blendage. That's what that is. Straight up blend. Where does the hair start and where does it begin? Get swallowed in the fat ass bitch. I got racks, racks, racks to the ATM jam. Tell me what you wanna do. 